Hello everyone, welcome to Maths Reader. If you are watching this video, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates. Next question number 5. Factorize p square plus 6p plus 8. So here we can use this identity x plus a into x plus b equal to x square plus a plus b into x plus ab. So because this is 8 is not a perfect square, so in such cases we can use this identity. So here we have ab, ab equal to 8 and a plus b equal to 6. So now let us find the factors of 8, ab equal to 8. So when you multiply the two factors we should get 8. So we can write 4, 2, 4, 2 is 8. So when you add a plus b we should get 6. So, 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So, we can use these two factors. Because when you multiply these two factors, we should get 3. When you add these two, we should get this middle term. So, now the factors are 4 and 2. So, I can write p square plus 4p. 4 plus 2 into p plus 4 into 2 is equal to 8. So p square multiply 4 into p plus 4p plus 2 into p is 2p plus 4 to the 8. Now here we have p as a common term so I am taking p out. So remaining I have p p into p is p square plus remaining is 4 plus here I can, uh, we have 2 and 8 so 8 we can write 2 into 4 so 2 I am taking out so remaining I have p plus 4 so p plus 4 is common in both the terms I am taking out remaining I have p plus 2 Second question q square minus 10 q plus 21. So here again 21 is not a perfect square. So we can use this identity. Here a b equal to 21. So when you multiply a and b we should get 21. a b equal to 21. So we can use 7 3. So 7 3 is 21. So when you add 7 and 3 we should get 10. So a plus b. 7 plus 3 equal to 10. 7 plus 3 is 10 but here we have minus 10. So we can take minus 7 and minus 3. So minus 7 minus 3 is minus 10. So when you add these two a and b we should get this term when you multiply we should get 21 so a and b are negative minus into minus is plus so now we can write q square minus 7 minus 3 into q plus minus 7 into minus 3 so now q square Multiply with q minus 7q. Sorry, 7 plus 3 is 10. Sorry, 7 plus 3. So, 7q minus into plus is minus. Again, minus into plus is minus. 3 into q. 3q plus 7 3 is 21. So, here we have q as a common term. I am taking q. Remaining q minus 7. Here 3 is common so I can write 21 as 7 into 3. So I am taking 3 out. So remaining I have q. Min 3 into q is 3q. Minus I have 7. 7 3 is 21. Minus into minus is plus. So here q minus 7 is common. So I am taking out. Remaining I have q minus 3. So these are the factors of this expression. Next question p square plus 6p minus 16. So here the factor is 16 minus 16. 
here a b equal to 16 and a plus b we should get 6 plus 6 a b is minus 16 so 2 into 8 is 16 and the factors are 16 are 2 and 8 and we can use 1 into 16 as 16 so first let us check 2 and 8 2 8s are 16 we should get minus 16 so we can take any one of this factors negative number so when you add 2 and 8 we should get 3 sorry plus 6 so plus 8 minus 2 so plus 8 minus 2 is plus 6 so when you add these two you should get 6 when you multiply these two you should get minus 16 so one factor we can take as a negative number so minus 2 into plus 8 is minus 16 minus 2 plus 8 is 6 so if we take 1 and 16 1 into 16 is 16 but 1 when you add these two 1 plus 16 is 17 1 minus 16 is 15 so but here we have only 6 p so this cannot be the factors of this expression so now we can write p square plus so the factors are minus 2 and plus 8 minus 2 plus 8 p minus 16 so 16 we can write 2 into 8 so now p square multiply with p minus into plus is minus 2p plus 8p minus 2 into 8 so here we have p as a common term i am taking p outside remaining p minus 2 here 8 is common so i am taking 8 so remaining i have p minus 2 here p minus 2 is common p minus 2 is common factor I am taking out so remaining is p plus 8 